<laughs> so, yes, just testing myself. Welcome to Talking to Our Souls Before Christmas 2021. Hi, I'm Steve. We will be able to mix in 12 months' time, Hen. And uh, over there, we have whom? Av. Omicron is coming. Omicron is coming. Mr. Singh. Oh, Macron. Do you know? That's very good, but I don't. I'm trying to. What's. Is that. It's not. I'm trying to think. Okay, is it. Uh, what song is that, though? No, it's The Lion King. Holidays no? are coming. Holidays, holidays are coming. Holidays are coming. Oh, Macron. Coca Cola is the real thing. Oh, it's Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Yeah. What would you rather have, ladies and gentlemen? Coca Cola or Omicron? I'll tell you what will kill you Coca fucking Cola. You, you could argue, say, both could, would make you feel unwell. You have too much of it. Well, yes, I did an advert back in the back in the seventies. Uh, Coca fucking cola. It was never shown because I said Coca fucking cola. I'm going to try and get through the night without swearing. Do you know? Do you know uh, when I was a teenager? I don't know if anyone remembers Virgin Cola. When you were a boy. A teenager, you know. I think teenager. When you were a boy. The, uh, Richard Branson made his own brand of cola, Virgin Cola. He did. I've got some bottles in my garage. Uh, <laughs> Pamela, sh Pamela Anderson shaped bottles. I think. No, that, those are I think that was Coke. That was Coke. Was that Coke? I thought that was Virgin. Yeah. I thought Virgin Cola did the oh, Pamela actually, Anderson actually, ones. Actually, I remember the cans, and I, I preferred that to Coca Cola actually. Virgin Coke. Yeah, yeah. Virgin Coke. You could sell that in London for a premium. It's a bit like so, Richard yeah. Branson. He's a bit bit rich, but goes down well, apparently. <laughs> it goes down well in a balloon. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know, I oh, I used to love Richard Branson. Not love. I used to... When Richard Branson was doing a record company from his bedroom and, and, he, and, he, and he signed Mike Oldfield to his Virgin record label, um, I wrote to Virgin and they sent me loads of Mike Oldfield stuff. It was great. And um, I, had a, I was a big fan of Virgin, the record company label, and Richard Branson, therefore I was. But as, as the years have gone on, I've, I've gone off Richard Branson quite a lot. And I, I, I liked him when he was a, a Coca-Cola person, but I think it was when he started flying in the air with his aeroplanes that I went off him. I think when he tried to get into like trains and planes and... Automobiles. I don't know. I don't know, everything else, eh? yeah, lottery. If he'd have gone into the lottery, we'd have, you know, we'd have had bigger prizes and uh, more, more, more good causes would have got the money. You, you think that, wouldn't you? But you don't know with him. You don't know, but you know if it's if it's uh, it doesn't matter. Hi everyone, it's the nineteenth of uh, is it the nineteenth? Ho ho ho, twentieth of. I saw Father Christmas yesterday. He was in the garden, ho ho hoing. 20th of December. Oh my Boris God. Boris Johnson, he's gone. They kicked him out. And Matt, wow. you, who'd have thought that on Friday? No. <laughs> it's a icky wish, can't you, Steve? The president of a No, I, I didn't. Do you know? I, I, I was listening to loads of people ringing in, conservatives saying, you know, he's a clown, he's an idiot, he should never be in charge of the party, he should go, he should go. And I'm thinking, fuck off. As I said, I'm not going to swear this, this episode. Because, like, if Boris Johnson is going to go, he should go for something that he's done bad. And he's done loads of things bad. But having, like, lying over Christmas parties is nothing compared to the shit that he's done to this country. Oh, losing a by-election in Shrewsbury, which they've kept for nearly 200 years. <laughs> uh, That's yeah, bad, but isn't it? It is bad. It's bad that they actually lost it, but do you know how many people didn't vote this time that did vote last time? Yeah, because they're probably disillusioned with uh, the old bastards. Yeah, but do, you know, but do you know how many were disillusioned who did not how vote? Many? Who did, like, 18,000. 18,000 voted and 18,000 didn't vote this time. It was like 36, uh, 58 was the turnout last year, last 
2019. So yeah, there's the, still 18, but I, it makes 6,000 Conservative voters did vote for the Lib Dems. Yeah, but it makes so you think the bad. reason they didn't vote is probably because they're thinking, I'll, I'll contribute another way by not shoring them up. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I think that also people, apathy would have played. And also I think more people went in and voted in the 2019 because it was, you know, it was the B word. No. Uh, mm. Bullshit. Pardon me. Bullshit! Yeah, yeah. How's that going for you? I said, Do you know, I was thinking this as well, and I think this is right. People who voted for A, Boris, and B, Breakfast. Breakfast? A, Boris, B, Brexit, C, Cond. They're like people who were caught with their hand in the cookie jar, because I think they never actually believed it when they voted for Brexit, and it happened. And they feel guilty for a short-term pleasure. And I think voting for Boris, was, was they felt they couldn't believe it, and they were guilty for a short-term pleasure. Everyone who voted, not everyone, the majority of people really, are, I feel like they've had their hand in the cookie jar. Well. I'm not judging you people. You were conned. Yeah. But let's, let's just say uh, if you're uh, gullible enough to look at Boris and see <laughs> good a good leader, you know, I think that speaks volumes, doesn't it? You've probably been listening to people saying, give the man a chance. He's got the pandemic. He's done everything right in the pandemic. I'm thinking, what? They say, what would Starmer do? What would Corbyn do? If he, like, they would have, less lives would have been needlessly wasted if, if anybody who cared w was in charge because all they would have done is say well, you know what this this lockdown is going to start earlier this lockdown is actually means a lockdown it doesn't mean go out and just pretend you can get away with it stay alert i think stay alert i think i think boris's logic is that you know for all the people that have uh, unfortunately died over the past two years He's going to try and make up for himself with having as many kids as possible. Maybe. <laughs> this is, this well, is, this is, probably not for the one to try, is it? <laughs> Do you know how many children oh, he's got, according according to the uh, Daily Mail? How many? About seven. That's bollocks. <laughs> no, about. They can't say definitely. About seven. He's got seven. about seven. <laughs> that's, that's seven confirmed. <laughs> that's what it is. It. But, like, about seven. But he could have 20. About. We shouldn't really talk about Boris because he's gone. I came across uh, an interesting track, actually, the other day. And I think it's got uh -huh. quite a strong political message. I'm still trying to figure it out. Have, have, you, have you listened to it? Is that the one you just sent me? Yeah, yeah. Was you able to listen to that? Should we... I mean, what... Should we have a, have a play? And uh, so this is, you say, he's got a political message. I, I think so. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what he's trying to say politically. But it, it, it's... Let's have a listen. Let's have a listen. OK, let's have a listen. Uh, I, I've got to play this. Boris Johnson still! A fucking cunt. Boris Johnson still! A fucking cunt. He's still a cunt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, yeah. What are your feelings on that, Steve? Is it, I'm, I'm just wow. kind of. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the message is. Yeah. Is it? Is it like in the seventies? Music was better. Could be, or is it? Is it? If it is from the seventies, they preempted. Uh, or so, it's like a His forecast sack. into the future. <laughs> It's a great song. It's, it's a rock and roll part one, I think, by, it's, by it's Gary. Too it's too catchy. Two. <laughs> yeah, so is COVID, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but... <laughs> Catch a ball at the super... You can go to the supermarket, you'd be like... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but I, can't, I caught the song and also caught the freaking Omicron at the same time. I don't know. I think the message, the message is... Boris Johnson... It's still a cunt. Now, oh, you say, oh, I thought you said Bob Johnson still can't. Still can't. Still can't. <laughs> he really can't. can't. He really he can't. can't. 
I thought very, you were talking very... about. See, I thought you said he can't govern. That's what he's trying to say. He still can't. He still can't. He still can't. He still <laughs> can't. He still can't. He still can't just... govern. I, d- I totally missed it. I thought he's saying something about his uh, capabilities. Capability of Brown. No, he's. Ah. Yeah, I think the, the the political side is they're saying that he still is one, but like, is he? I don't. Because oh. oh. to be a c word, I don't know why I said it like that. I could have said it quite easily. To be a c word though, it, it takes a bit of skill to do it right. He he does it just haphazardly. He doesn't do it. You know, he just is lucky no, that no. he is one, rather than he doesn't. You know, he does. Is he though? Does he go out to do what? Does he go out to do what he does, or does he just think of himself and therefore he doesn't think about it and it just happens? No, no the, the thing is with that word is that no one goes out intentionally to be that word. I do. <laughs> You're different, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank, I feel like a son and a parent there. Yeah, yeah. You're different, son. <laughs> yeah. He's a. No, I agree. You're right, though. But I agree. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> the fact that he does it so well without Troy, so it's, <laughs> he's, a, he's a natural. He is. I suppose he is a natural cunt. But he's not a supplicant. Oh. Hey. I hope I've got that in the right context there. That would be, be really weird if I hadn't. But some people try to be that word and then... Like it's quite fun when they are like like Piers Morgan. He is one. He is he is because he tries to be uh, something. No. Whereas Boris, tries I don't think Boris to be... tries to be anything. Boris is. Piers tries to be. Um... Look, what's the word I'm looking for? I forgot it now. A um... wanker, a cunt, <laughs> a twat, <laughs> a fat ass, uh, a I dick. Say, you're not you're not a contradiction. Actually, a tongue then. Um, really? I had one on the tip of my tongue the other day. It was lovely. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was a Cornetto. I don't know what you're uh, going on about. Controversial. He tries to be controversial, but he comes out being a... You're listening to Cunts of the 21st Century. We have Boris Johnson, Piers Morgan, and who's that twat who does? Uh, who wants to be a millionaire now, drives a car like an idiot? Oh, Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson. He's He's one of them, one of the... One of the C words of the 21st century. But, you see, we, we, we're probably there. We, we're got, exposing a particular demographic. <laughs> so everyone mm. is like an older white man. Whiter man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I, I, I could put, I could put a, a fresh face on it. Old Petty Patel, she's up for Dick of the Year on the last leg, and I reckon she'll win it. Yeah, but she's she's she comes across like she can be an honorary white middle class male, can't she? With her views, if you read everything she'd said and done, then she would come across definitely. It I mean, would if she like... came out and says I identify as an eighty year old racist white conservative <laughs> male, you would say yeah, yeah, I would, I I I believe that, I definitely believe that. <laughs> My, my my bottom always goes a little tight when I hear people say uh, I identify as, and they and they're trying to be funny, but that put, worked perfectly. Have it was it worked Thanks. perfectly. Yeah. She's a, just a waste of space. But yeah, you could apply it to many people that in our government, uh, the ministers like Hancock, Jesus, Rob, Gavin Williamson. I think Russia should go away and shut up. Steve Henn, man of two voices. <laughs> song, we did the song bit. We, we, we're going to say any more about that song. Um, I, I suppose it, I don't even know what the name of the band is. Cunt and the Gang. <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> spelt with a K. Spelt with a K. Oh, I don't know how you spell gang. I don't know how you spell gang with a K, but there you go. <laughs> then surely Boris should be at the front of that group. Boris yeah. and the Gang. Yeah, oh, maybe that's you. that's the. Maybe that's the name of his uh, conservative uh, elite club. Soggy Biscuit would be the name of his elite club. I'll tell you that for nothing. <laughs> anyway, 
that we're talking about our, our, our sadly uh, who's left us, uh, Boris Johnson. Who would replace Boris Johnson then if he did get going? If he if he if he got going, who would replace him in the? Uh, lots of people ring in and say Rishi Sunak, but I remember what you said a few weeks ago about that, and I want to ring in and say it, but then I think if I ring in and say that, people think a bit racist, isn't it? You know, God forbid it's Mog. Bloody hell. I did have, I did have a, um, a sneaky suspicion that Mog would get in uh, when it was up uh, um, when Theresa May went, but because of Johnson, I think Mog now becomes less appealing as a as a well, um, candidate. There was a documentary about Mog when he was a kid. I think the BBC did interviewed him because I don't know why they interviewed him, but he was there talking like this, and uh, yes, uh, one day I want to be. Extremely rich and a prime minister. And uh, you're thinking, yeah, little bastard. He's planned it from day one. He had his life all uh, no. out. And he's, he's another if, one if he wanted to do it, to though. Work. Yes, he does. He pop, but he, he, unfortunately, he just pops them out because he doesn't believe in contraception. It's a shame his parents didn't feel the same way. I did a joke. It did sound like one, didn't it? It did. It did quite sound like one. <laughs> yeah. But no, I don't. I don't think Mog will have a chance now. Fortunately, uh, but I do worry that it will be Gove. This is my theory, right? Gove and Cummings get on well. Still, I, I'm not saying this from any knowledge I have. It's what I heard. But I have a sneaky suspicion that all these things about the parties and stuff are being leaked by Cummings. And I reckon, I reckon we're going to get a great Christmas present, or the day before, or the day after. There'll be a big story about about Johnson. Or there'll be a picture of Johnson at these parties. That'll that'll yeah, come out. I, I, I would love to see uh, Cummings on Gove. You would love to see Cummings on Gove. Yeah, his his views. Oh, I thought I thought you were being slightly dirty. Mm-hmm. It's like when I used to go down the Arsenal. I used to dread it when they left Seaman on the bench. I mean, it's not many conservatives. I would think, I think, oh god, they're all fucking crazy, racist. Um, but um, I do. That like should be David the name of the Davies. party, shouldn't it? So David what? Davies, the, the white-haired guy who was our Brexit minister. Yeah. Who went to argue for Brexit when all the all the all the Europeans had everything written down, and he sat there smiling, saying, "Come on, then, what we're we going to talk about?" Do you know? But he it, couldn't it, prepare for a bloody breakfast. He, um, do you know what that was, though? He His hands were tied from the beginning by Theresa May. She told him that this is what you got to do and you got to stick to it. And uh, he went there and because his hands were tied. But he could it. have owned his briefcase, though, couldn't he, surely? Yeah, well, and that's, that was the negotiating tactic. We were leaving, so like we had no power. It's like Manchester United saying we're going to leave the Premiership and start our own group. And, and uh, they go, go on then. And they said, yeah, but we want to take some of the other teams with us. And they said, well, you can't do that. He said, no, but we want to. And he said, well, yeah, but you'll decide to leave the Premier League. Yeah, but we'd also like to have, a, you know, a couple of games of football with other teams. And that's that's how we, because we couldn't negotiate that, because we were leaving. No, it's like, it's like. On a it's jet like, plane. It's like, uh, if you use that analogy, it's like, say, say, Manchester United leaving. And they're taking their money out. Where, where, if the other agreement was. You could leave, but you still you still pay the Premier League money, even though you left. But Bo- yeah, no, Boris but... was saying, "I will leave, and we won't pay you." Yeah, no, but we we but but we owed that money. We agreed to pay that money, and we would still yes. feel the benefit of the money. So, so Manchester United would still get their sponsorship. Anyway, I just want to say, if Manchester United did leave and said we're going to take our money, they're in debt to about one hundred and fifty-eight billion pounds. <laughs> Uh, oh, see what I did then? They're yeah, no, bastards. that's it. That's the name of this show. They're all bastards anyway. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. And and if you think you're a bastard, write in and let us know. Or if you think you're uh, a Boris Johnson, actually don't bother us because we don't talk to you because you are. You're a cunt. Give us a ring. Is that what you're trying to say? No, I'm saying if you are, we don't want to talk to you really. Hold on, hold on. I've got somebody from Felixstowe. Nigel, how are you? I was gonna say when we were doing like cunts of the twenty first century, I wouldn't put I wouldn't put Nigel Farage in there. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the C word is um, 
it's only uh, appropriate for a certain kind of person. Pseudo intellectuals. Why would you want to sue the intellectuals for? You wouldn't put Boris into that category of intellectuals, would you? So why? You know, well, I can't sue him. Well, see, this is the thing that annoys me as well. Everyone's ringing in saying Boris is a clown. He's not. He's not stupid. That man is not stupid. He knows that he can say things twice, two times round, and and one side will agree one way, and another side will agree the other way. But until he has to make a decision, he keeps both sides happy. Both sides happy. I know it's a song I'm not by quite Snow sure White. About that, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> not no, sure about that. but like, if you listen to everything he says, you can read it both ways. What else has what? there been in the news? I think, yeah. Well, there's this little uh, Omicron, Omicron being French. Oh God, I'm going to say it, Omicron. It sounds, it sounds like a doomsday weapon from a Bond film, doesn't it? Well, I was going to say a Doctor Who story, but Doctor, Doctor yeah, Who, yeah. even yeah, yeah. Release Omicron. Release Mr. Grimsdale! I don't want to talk about it in a way that makes everyone depressed. And um, So let's just... Just because, right? It's our number. It's quite high, isn't it? Between three so and like, five. Like, so you, that means one person could infect five people. So if one person on one day infects five people... The next day it goes to 25. Then the day after that it's 125. Then on the third day it's 625. On the fifth day it's 15,000. And the sixth day it's 78,000. So that, that's only one person in seven days could infect 78,000 people. Stop that's confusing why it, me with your maths, Steve. Go it. That's like anyway. exponential, and that's why they're worried. So, happy Christmas. You know, um, do you know when I hear Omicron? It reminds me of an Irish man being hit in the balls. Omicron. Oi, me crying. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Oi, me crying. <laughs> Oi, me crying. <laughs> Oi, me crying. Maybe I. Maybe I need to see a doctor. I don't even know what I'm oh, crying. Oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. I thought you said crying. Oh, I'm crying. I think that was What's a it? thick oh, Irish accent. And crying. when I say thick Irish accent, I don't mean a thick Irish accent. I mean a, a gooey one. <laughs> I, you know, I do think that 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 people are just going to get go to Christmas and then it will just go it will go tits up. And if it goes tits up. And I don't say that in, a, in an anti-feminist way because it, it, uh, it's a nice expression that I used males, to say. And because I, males not... can have it that way as well, yeah. Tits like coconuts and sparrows like breadcrumbs. I think that's a, yeah, right. I think that's a Benny Hill, but I'm not sure. I'm just worried now, Steve. <laughs> I'm going to be accused of being a racist and, and misogynist. Basically. Oh, I, I, think, I think we're all, we're all going to be called a misogynist. I mean, I, I can't help it. I, I, I try my best. Not because I don't think I am. I don't. I think you know. I think everyone in my book is equal, unless you're not and you're a twat. But like, I give everyone the benefit of the doubt, and everyone should be treated equally, unless they do something that's just totally uh, well, off, off, off piste, as it were. Well, but I still grew I think, up in the seventies, and they are so precious. Think, these little people that cook food for us. Well, I was going to say, Steve. Uh, I think to get us uh, 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 head off the block, let's let's talk about Jim Davidson. But no, we ought to just say something a bit nice now about the Omicron. I know you did your best by when you're growing. I just think uh, yeah. we're going to end up owing so much more money, and the government aren't going to bail anyone out, and everything's going to close down, and Gove will be prime minister. <laughs> On a, on a better note, the nights will start getting lighter. Tomorrow, the light the nights start getting lighter. What good is that when you can't leave the house because you're in lockdown? <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, no, don't apologise to that. That's that's that. We 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 just move on now and talk about something that we haven't talked about for a long time. Have Have you had your booster? Yes. 
I um I have to queue jump and push out a few old people, but I did get my booster. It's funny, it's funny, right? <laughs> people, we can laugh at Av pushing old people out of the way. Mine was this afternoon, but, actually. I feel all right. Uh, that was the point of my joke, actually. <laughs> I've got uh I've got to um hold my hands up, Steve. I've, I've been doing something. Uh, let me see. He's, wouldn't he's well. not. He's not been. He's not been paying his electric bill because his Wi-Fi has fucked us up again. I um I found myself. I can't help myself. I keep keep looking. I know I shouldn't. Not a GBGBs. And the missus caught me the other day. And I don't know what it is with, with men. Like, why, why is that sometimes a man has to go bigger and better? You've got a new car? No, I'm looking, I'm looking at a 55-inch. You're telling me that the female of the species doesn't, doesn't care that it's 55-inch or 78-inch. They just want a TV that's not too big and will look nice around the chintzy curtains. That as as is there's sexism. Some differences as they, 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 sexism. There's, there's some differences between, there are differences between men and women, and men. When it yeah, comes that's to right, TVs, that's right. Men are more intelligent. Oh, no, I didn't say that. No, no I know no, you no, didn't no, say no, that. No. I said that. All right, there are differences um, between men and women. Women are make better cooks. Oh, no, I didn't right. say that. Women are I, better at, no. women are better at cleaning. <laughs> Oh dear. What is, what is then? I don't even think there is any difference, but come on, tell me what the difference is. Men will look at uh, <laughs> the picture, the quality. He won't let where me women do it. would just want to see the content of the program. I mean, it's good. I can't believe that. Have you seen the, have you seen the programs that are on the telly? Right, this is, I put this on my Facebook ages ago. What's that program with all those stupid women on it? Loose women, right? If does loose women represent women of twenty twenty one? Was my question, and and a lot of my friends wrote back and said, "Yeah, love it." No, they said, "No, it doesn't." Loose women does not represent the 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 the, the gender specific nature of the people today. I think you got to look at the age range of those people on those shows, and maybe it represents more people of that age. What, are you saying Stacey Solomon? Oh, well, she's probably over 40, isn't she? 32. She looks over 40. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I love Stacey Solomon. I think, I think she's, she's so much brighter than she lets herself uh, be portrayed. Everything's, everything is so much more expensive than it was. I, interest rates? I feel, yeah, interest rates have gone up. It doesn't interest me. Uh, that's the new I rate, isn't it? We had an R rate, an I rate, and but <laughs> sixty quid it cost me to to fill up my car in the uh, in the fuel crisis, and then I decided to fill it up the other day, and it was eighty quid. Uh, I was delivering to this woman the other day, and she said, "I don't get much for my money in the shopping." I said, "And you know what, dear?" I said, "It's going to get worse over the next few weeks." Happy Christmas. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> Right, <laughs> Av has just walked off because he thought that would be a great way to end the show. <laughs> other way, other way. <laughs>